Apparently the writer's strike is actually a thing. All the writers are like, we're going on strike and we're taking our words with us. And I'm like, I didn't notice. Didn't they try this like a couple of years back? Like, I think it was like, what, 15 years ago? It was the writer's strike. And what happened? Reality TV took over. So, uh, writer's strike now. Expect a lot of more AI written sitcoms. Good job, writers. But, and, hey, I get it. I, I feel like every creative person should be paid a lot more than they are. But it's like, in, in certain instances, it's like, bro, come on. I love a full series that offends people more than Postal. I Well, here's the thing. I really think if people push up the campiness of, of shows like, or, well, franchises like Postal and Duke Nukem... They got, they got to really push the envelope to be it like, well, this is so ridiculous, you guys can't take it seriously. Kind of like South Park, you know? Where it's, it's some of it's just so ridiculous, you can't take it seriously. It'll still offend people, but who cares? You know, it's so ridiculous, you can't be taking it seriously. Yeah. And that, that that's the thing everyone should be falling back on in Hollywood, assuming these writers can get their crap together, is let's make it so offensive and stupid that nobody could possibly take any of this seriously. And if they do, we can make fun of them for taking it too seriously. That's how you got to do it. That's how comedy is going to work moving forward. Be so bombastic and stupid that you'd have to point out to the fact that somebody else is dumber than the content you're actually making and that they're taking it so seriously that they are, in fact, a stupid one. <laughs> 